So clear coat in shading is a way to add uh, like a lacquer and uh, I'm gonna dissect my uh, clear coat material in Mori and no based. So let's dive into it now. Let's take a look here in the no graph what I have done. So um, yeah, I start off here by making a float and this is a extension pack node. So it's just a way to, to pick a value. And if you don't have extension pack, you can just use a color and, and just say white instead. That's yeah, that's how it is. And um, so here off, let's take a look here. What we have, we have my metal mask. So the clear coat is just a, an ISO to uh, dial a shading effect in my random man shader and I have a clear coat slot so it's more like a lacquer so I, I want to use this to give as like it's been painted been scratched and uh, it has dirt on top so I use my metal mask that uh, you can look in a previous episode how I did that one so I use it uh, I invert it and I multiply it against the white there so this merge node here becomes uh, like a opacity slider this section here is an operation that i i multiply so let's dissect it uh, first off let's look at the result so what i do i add um, this one so that's a uh, breakup so let's see how i did that and um, so what i did there an axis projection and another axis projection so this is two very subtle uh, like uh, scratches type of effects. So let's let's take a look. I have a cloud that I oops, I level and uses a mask. So this it gives uh, a masking those two axis projections next to each other there. So if I want to see this, let's take a brightness look up just to inspect the effect of this temporarily yeah so what i did was to mask those two together so let's see if i go here on the merge node and see what it does yeah so i add break up there between uh, those two axis projections here we have another operation going oh let's look at this strand so this one is another cloud i level it so there I take away stuff. It's hard to see here. So let's so this is very fine subtle stuff that I use. Uh, we have a uh, histogram select. So I uh, use this one. So histogram select is a way to uh, it's an extension pack node. And let's see what that one histogram select. So let's take this put it into the input and visualize it so first off so what it does is a way to uh, like take a range you have contrast so you can you can mess with this to get certain effect so what I did I set it to I essentially kind of inverted and crunched it there here we have something I use my uh, baked curvature I level it to get this so i another histogram select uh, that merge node doesn't do anything at the moment so i could take it away i think i was playing around with something there brightness look up i add let's see what this one does screen i just invert with the brightness look up and i add it on top to give some extra break up there okay so we are here now and uh, this is the result so this is what i then multiply on top this gives me it's like a general break up of micro scratches so this is what's gonna be the like the base of the clear coats like it's been uh, micro scratched here and there and worn and stuff and uh, the underlying this one is the is the hard scratches so that's gonna go completely scratch through the the clear coat and uh, here we add more detail so 
here I use the dirt masks to uh, so this is the dirt mask that's gonna take away the clear coat effect where it's dirty as well so this is just a way to to make it um, look better like it's been uh, you don't have a clear coat where it's dirty so I just add that so I take the dirt mask I invert it and I multiply it against the these the, the base breakup here we have an operation isobody so that's an iso I defined earlier just the body uh, red paint and decals that I add together to make this so what I do here I uh, basically take away um, clear coat where I have decals so this operation is just a way to to add my my uh, decals and I mask out everything else that doesn't need uh, clear coat and in the end I clamp this so that's uh, the basics of the clear coat so that's it for this clear coat material and um, the next time I will take a look at how we export all our textures and ISOs for look development and as usual, if you want to support my channel, consider subscribing and hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And uh, yeah, hit the like button as well if you like to. And uh, please give a comment and see you around on my channel. Bye bye.